I started off with John chapter 1 verse 1 and John chapter 1 verse 14. I've shown him the hypostatic union. He hasn't dealt with this. Yeah. Have you all noticed that he hasn't the dealt question, with this? That the right? He didn't the want to deal with this. Would he show? show me one statement from the early church fathers within the first three centuries where one of them, and there are many you can quote from, and I one have, of them who said and I the Father and the Son are co-equal. You know, Muslims, they will ask you this question. Where does Jesus say explicitly in the Bible that I am God? Again, this particular Muslim is now asking this explicit question. Can you find me which church father say I am co-equal? Where you have co-equality with the father and the son. And I'm simply saying to him, if you regress everything down to word and language, that's not the way it works. You are unable or unwilling to just reconcile John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. You are, you are all, every Muslim so far. Are you Muslim, sir? I'm here to talk about people. I think it's Well, I am actually. I'm here to talk about Jesus. Uh, I'm going to read you a verse, two verses, right? And I'm going to make a claim and a supposition based on these two verses. So, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. I'll read it one more time. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This suggests divinity. Right? I'm going to read you another verse. Now. Let me make the claim. Let me, make, let me finish it. The second verse I'm going to is John 1 14. And the word became flesh. And the word became flesh. So John 1 1, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. That is divinity. And the word became flesh, John 1 14. That suggests humanity. If you take these two, two natures together, you coalesce into the person of Jesus Christ. Divinity, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, and the Word became flesh, humanity. So, well, I'll read, I'll read on to you, but I'll get to that, I'll get to that. But would you say those two verses alone, those two verses alone, they imply divinity and humanity? You? No, just the if text anybody alone. Anybody can claim that. Anybody can write that and no, claim, no, listen, make that listen, claim. Listen, listen. I'm not asking the theological what you understand and what you believe. Mm. I'm saying just the English language alone. Yeah. yeah. Do you see divinity in John 1:1 1, 1 and humanity in John 1:14? But anybody can write that and make that claim, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do it doesn't the, make sense, though. I'm not asking you theologically. I'm saying yeah. just as a sentence structure, English, yeah. grammatical. Even if it's not from Bible. Right. Yeah. Do you see divinity in John 1:1 1, 1 and John? Humanity in John 1.14. You don't see it. Okay. This is, you, wait, where's your friend? No, wait, wait, wait. Where's the, wait, wait. So, so, he's gone somewhere. You see, because this, wait, hold on. When I asked him this question, he said to me, yes. And I said to him, I can prove to you that no Muslim, 99% of all Muslims, when you show yeah, them these two verses. You're asking me about belief now. You're asking me about belief. Because you're going you're gonna to say to me, you believe in the house. So that's that's what the Bible say, And that's that's the truth. Yeah. I'm trying to give you English. So you're trying English. to tell me. English, English is fine. So if you take it from another word, that's divinity for you, isn't it? Okay. Yeah? Let me ask you something. Let, let, let me ask you now something. Yeah. I've been trying to show you yeah. two verses in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, One verse, and I'm simply saying, don't use your theological, right? Imagine this book is just from the Oxford Dictionary. Mm. And I'm saying, don't try and use theological. It's not about believing. These two How verses. How do you define divinity? Well, it uses the word God here. Yeah, forget about that. In English. the beginning yeah. was the word. Uh, what's divinity? Divinity is God. So what's God? God is divine. Yeah, what, what's, the, what's the attributes of God? Divinity. Yeah, what's the what's Give me some attributes. It's before, very, before, very, very before we get into attributes, what I'm simply saying to you, right? Before we get into attributes, I'm simply yeah, saying... It's, 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 it's almost like divinity. you don't want to touch these two verses, and this is proving no, 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 my no, no, point. No, 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 this is proving my point. That just these two verses alone, you are unable to just... talking about the base, because if... Right, and these two verses alone, you are unable to kind of like reconcile these two verses. If we can't refer to the same thing, 
we can't agree. So I'm These telling you. These two verses alone, you are unable to reconcile divinity yeah, no, and humanity. Yeah, You're not asking me questions. What is divinity? Yeah, of what course. What is divinity? Of course. Divinity is God. Yeah, what's God? What's the attribute of That's God? That's not the point we're dealing yeah, with here. Why is it the point we're dealing with? Why do you suggest this? Why do you because ask this question? Because divinity for you and for me can't be different. Okay, what's the and difference between your divinity and my no, divinity? I'm asking you because you're telling me divinity I've just is God told you divinity is God. God. Is divinity. Yeah. What are these attributes? So we I don't can know. Agree. I don't know. I see. So you can't so argue the case. But what I, do we see? What do we see? But if I tell you the truth, listen here, because you're two different people, two, you, you believe no, no, in two no, different religions. No, no. So regardless, no, no. Can, I, can I say something please, very quickly that we don't try? Please do. Please do. Regardless of the discussion here about a particular subject, this one, don't put this one. This one is It is always going to come to the conclusion that the two of you are going to have different opinions. Why? For the simple reason, as a matter of fact, that you have your religion. No, we're going back to the basics. Forget about the religion. I want you to listen. I want you to listen. I'm a Christian. Excuse me. I'm a Christian. I know. But I want you to listen to what I'm saying. I believe in God. We need to go. Praise the Lord. We need to start with the same definition. No, carry on, carry on. I don't want to be. This is what I said to him. I said, there was a gentleman here just now, right? And I said to him, listen, when you use two verses of the Bible, John 1 1 and John 1 14, just the two verses of the Bible, you don't have to use theological. You don't have to. If I give you. Wait, wait, wait. You don't have to use anything. Just take these two verses. And just think of it as a dictionary. War and peace. I give you another definition. Or just use it as an objective. I give you another definition right? of divinity. Let me divinity. finish. Let me finish. And then finish. Carry on, carry on. You will. Carry on. You will. And I said to him, listen, just take these two verses. I believe as much as you do, trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm but I want you to carry on. I just want to say something. And I'm saying, these two verses of the Bible alone, John 1 1 and John 1 14. In John 1 1, you have divinity. Why? In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the John 1 14, we have humanity. The gentleman who was here, the Muslim gentleman, he said, yes, I do see it. But he doesn't believe it. And I said, no problem. I'm not asking you to believe it. But you do have to just take the text for what it says in itself. Right? If you pick up a comic book, or if you pick up any fictional book, you're going to take what the text says for what it says. You're not going to try and... Right, you're going to take the text for what it says in its context. So I, I said to him, listen, it's good that you've done this. But I can prove to you that most of your Muslim brothers can't do this. So I'm sharing the same with this gentleman. I'm saying John 1.1 1, 1, and John 1.14. Let me give you a statement. And I'm giving him, I'm saying, listen, do you see divinity here? And do you see humanity let me, here? Let he me, says no, because now, what is divinity? Yes, exactly. And what is God? Yeah, exactly. Let Who me give you a definition. I give you a definition and tell me if this is divinity or not. God has no beginning and there is no end, and there is nothing like Him. Is that divinity or not? You answer the question. Don't ask no, no, questions. No, you make statements. Make I'm statements. making this statement. No, make is a statement. Divinity? Don't ask a question. I'm making a statement. That's not a, that's not a statement. That's a question. Make a no, statement. No, no, no. I'm making a statement. That's not a I'm telling you a this statement. Is... Make a statement. I'm making. Okay, I'm making a statement. Yeah. God has no beginning, has no end, and there is nothing like Him. Yeah, he has no son, he has no father. I believe this is divinity. What do you think? John 1 1. Forget about John 1 1. I'm How can I forget about, about John 1 1? We began from I John 1 1. I told you, you, you gave me your statement. I told you this is no divinity. I'm telling you my statement. So, divinity tell me for what's... you mm. is not in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. That's not divinity for you. That's that statement, two statements you gave hold me. Hold on, hold on. You're saying John 1 1 is not divinity? Not for me, no. Okay, why is John 1 1 not divinity for you? Because for me, God has no beginning, has no end. Okay. So and there is nothing like Him. Okay, okay. So, so where does it you... say that in the beginning? Hold on, hold on. It says, it, the verse says, in the beginning, the word was with God. The word was with God, and the word was God, right? Now you're making, who made the world? I'm asking you a question. Who made the world? You know what? No, 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 no. I asked you a question. Who made the world? Who created the world? The word wasn't created. Oh. The Jesus, word wasn't, wasn't created. The word wasn't created. Where do you see that? The word. Did you say word or world? W-O-R-L-D. The world. Yeah. Okay, the world. Yes, the world, the world has a beginning, yes. But that's Genesis 1-1. Who created the world? Jesus. Jesus, yes. And who created Jesus? Jesus was not created by anyone. So let me read to you John 1 1 and John 1 2 and so forth, yeah? Would you mind? In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Verse 3. All things came into being through Him. And apart from Him, not one thing came into being which has come into being. In Him was life and the life and the life was the light of all men. 
and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness does not overcome it right okay these just these two verses are all things came into being through who so you're telling me i'm not telling you i'm reading to you all things came into the, the all things came into being through him who is the him God, you just asked a question, did you, who made the world? I've just shown you yeah. that Jesus Christ made the world. It says here, all things came into being. All things. Yeah, give, me, give me an attribute of God. Can that's a God different question. A but that's a different question. Yeah, yeah, because I'm going to get to you to this. Have you can finished with this then? I'm going to go back to it. <laughs> I'm going to go back to it because it, it's all related. It's all related. So now your question is regarding. So now your question is regarding the hyperstar. Is Jesus have a beginning? Yes, in his humanity, of course. In his humanity, Jesus, right? The Gospels, the three Gospels, the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Ninety percent of what you see in the Matthew, Mark, and Luke is his humanity. He is a Jewish man. Ethnically, he is a Jewish man, right? He fulfills all the laws of the Jews of the right. All everything that's required of him is Jew, as a Jewish man. He fulfills he, his mom and dad, or rather his uh, his siblings. Everything around it, they're Jewish. He goes to the temple, Jewish. Everything is Jewish. When he walks in Nazareth in Galilee, it's a Jewish man, right? Who's that? Jesus. Okay. But this same so man, man. He's a Jewish man. Right. But then and this man. Well, in this man, it tells you this particular man, right? John 1.1, 1, 1, in him was the life of life of men. Can you tell me what the attribute, how, what do you define the attributes of God? Because I've, I've given you some definition. I said he has no beginning, he has no end, and there is nothing like him. Yeah? He has no father, he has no son. What's the attribute of God to you? So, Yo, you. why did Jesus call, if, if, pardon, if you say that God has no son, and God doesn't begin, this and that, why yeah. did Jesus always refer to God as his father? Say that again. If you say that God, according to the Quran, yeah. that Allah doesn't beget, that he's not begotten, yes. this and that, that and that, why does Jesus always refer to God as his father? In where? The gospel. Yeah, in the Bible. Yeah. He doesn't do that in the Quran. Well, we do that. don't believe in the Issa, that the Issa in the Quran is parallel to the Jesus in the gospel. So we don't believe in that. Can you give me some attributes of God? What do you define God? Simple question. Okay. Eternal. Eternal life. Where is Jesus now? In the heavens. Who no runs the world? Simple question. Answer my question. What do you mean you run? Men run the world. Men run this world. So, this universe, it runs by itself then? The universe works according to the laws of physics. The universe runs according to the laws of physics. And what did they call the laws of physics? They were created by, by God, who? by who? Jesus. So here, uh, Jesus I've read creates, to you the verse. Yeah, yeah, Jesus creates the world and he goes to the heaven. Yeah. That's what he's saying. No, you got some wacky concept. Listen, tell me. Tell me because yeah, but clear. I have. Because you're not it's clear. It's very confusing, isn't why, it? But why are you confused and I'm not confused? I am confused. But I'm not confused. Yeah. Make things clear then. I'll have to learn. Okay. Who was in the beginning? Who was in the beginning? Yeah. God has no beginning. Who was in the beginning according to John's gospel? That's, your, that's what the Bible Yes, says. I know it's the according word. to the yes. Yeah. But who was in the beginning? Who is the word? We'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. Who, wait, wait, Just read it again. This doesn't make sense. This yeah. doesn't make Hold sense. On. Sorry, I have, to, I have to say something. Okay. Okay. Saying, so, number, number four. No, no, no. Seriously, with all due respect. You're saying in the beginning was the word, right? So I'm you, not saying anything. I'm reading to you the no, verse no, of the Bible. Yeah, one, you quoted yeah. John 1, so I'm just I'm going on what you're saying. So you're saying that in John, that, that I'm not the Bible is saying. I'm not. In the beginning was the word. statement. You believe in that? Yeah. yeah. In the beginning was the word. So the word. Are you saying that the word existed eternally with God? That's what the Bible says. Okay. So when the word was with God, before he became God, how many gods does that make that? So Deuteronomy 6.4 says what? Shema uh, is the Lord, our God is one God. One, how many? One God. Okay. First Corinthians 8.4 says, you know what it says? Can I read it? But you're not really answering my question. Yeah, yeah, you're I just reading from yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I asked you before the word came God, yeah. and I asked you, did the word exist eternally with God? You said yes. So I'm saying, if there's two eternal beings that exist at what the is? same time, how many gods does that make that eternally before the word became God? Are you? Do you understand the question? What I'm asking? Yeah. 
You understand? Why not? Makes, so you, you, you know what? With all due respect, I know you know, this. with all due respect, this. but know. this is nothing but polytheism. This, this, with, with all due respect, that this is nothing but polytheism. If you say so. It's polytheism. If you say so. This is your Islamic interpretation and opinion. Not, should we go what path can we go to interpretation of polytheism? Well, I'm not discussing no, polytheism or this or that. Okay, no, what is My discussion thing? is regarding John 1.1. No, 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 and I'm simply saying to you guys, it's like you are able, you are unable or unwilling to just reconcile John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. You are, you are all, every what's, Muslim what's so far. No, I don't know, I just came. So, so I'll do it one more time. Please, please, hey. In Fanny, the beginning... Fanny hasn't answered my question, but... Yeah, he won't ask that question. If you say so. So, I'm yeah, simply... I, you haven't. Yeah. Well, what, do you want to ask your question again? So we deal with your okay, question? Okay, please. Right. Now, there's, 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 there's some... There's a very faulty analogy with what you're bringing. Because you're bringing... There's a wasp. Right. There's John 1 1, right? But I think you've disregarded like countless verses where Jesus actually speaks about the oneness of God in monotheism. In his humanity. Right? Like, for example, Jesus said in John 17, verse 3, he said that this is life eternal. And the only true God who you have sent him. Let's, let's, let's listen to this. No, I but understand. I know, no, I know you do. Great. But I want to know what your question is. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to make a statement. Be patient. No, 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 no. no. We're not going to be patient with somebody who basically who started off with John 1 1. Now he's going into no, other verses. See, I'm going to cry. Right? You see, I started off with John. Listen, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. Listen, listen, my friend. My friend, my friend, listen. I didn't go to I didn't go to other verses of the Bible. No, no, no. I stood with two be verses patient. of the Bible. Two be verses. Be from the teachings of Jesus. I don't mind. If people want to go outside, no worries. No, no, but we start off with... Listen, they're not related. No, and I'm finished. No, they're not. This is your Islamic interpretation no, and no, opinion. No, no, no. Hear me out. I haven't about Islam. I no, but I'm telling you, it's your Islamic John interpretation and opinion. About John 1 -1. Now, here's what I'm saying. John 1.1 1 -1 and John 1.14. We here. haven't gone anywhere outside of this. Okay. But the man you wants to go into John 17. Okay, let's talk about John 1.1. Thank you. Stick with John 1.1. Recite to me John 1.1 in Greek. I can't. Okay. Do you know? Do you? Can you recite John 1 in Greek? Martian, yes. Go on then. Not in Greek. Not to you. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Don't just disregard. No, hold on. Don't disregard. Don't disregard. And when you don't even know what I'm going to say. Right. Brother, I asked you a question. You asked me a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said no. Exactly. I asked you the same question. The you give me two different answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Right. Hear him out. So, him so out. Hold hold on. Yeah, on. Hold but on. you know that what he's just said. In is... John 1 1, it says, and the word was God. The, so that word, the word was God, what is that in Greek? You tell me. Okay. It's Since you Tom, know Greek. It's Tom Theos. Do you know what Tom Theos means? You tell us. Okay. Tom Theos means a God, not mm -hmm. the God. Now you might think, what's the difference between the two? There is a significant uh, difference. Significant. There's a in significant Greek, difference. there is something called the definitive article, right? It's the. In no. Koine Greek, That's in Nestle no, Adam Greek. Excuse me. But anyway, you are wrong. That's here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. No. We're, no, we're doing with you. English. Whole theos but anyway. is the definite article. Because the word whole in Greek is just like Arabic, which is Al or Al Ila, which means the God. Or Allah is God. So when we use the word Al, that is the definite article. In Greek, John whole, 1 1 and John 1 1. Hold on, let's deal with this. Let's deal with this. You're going into. You're, you're, you're going into text. This, this is what I'm saying. Language, Excuse right? Me. Etymology. And we don't. John, no, he's got no but you don't know. Language. You don't know etymology. He doesn't know etymology. He definitely doesn't know etymology. Okay. But he's using this as some kind of argument. And I'm saying to you, we're dealing with the theological abstract concepts. You, you're not dealing with etymology, language, right? But that's what he's trying to argument. go to now. How can you just start the argument? Go for it. Go for it. it. But your argument is dealing with something we never started with, right? No. You're trying to use this as an argument, and we never. Started. Theologically, no, no, listen, listen, listen. John 1 1 and John 1 if you 14. Want, listen, if I'm talking a lot of cob wobbles, then you can research it for yourself. I'm giving you information which I know to be factual. So you it's can not hear me factual. Out. It's not factual, it's your opinion. Okay. No, no, no. It's, it's your interpret you. it's it's Islamic interpretation. Right. It's, I'm it's, it's not the, it's in, a God. Listen, in. So he's, he's coming to how many gods were they? Do you know? Do you know? You see, you see how, the, you the, you see how the translators are. Yeah. The, the translators, yeah. you see what Allah says in the Quran? Allah says that they changed. He's not even asking. They the changed the word with he's, their he's hands. He's talking to the camera. Yeah. You, 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 you couldn't even deal with John 1 1. Well, you know, if, you had, 
you had to go with. But you're not allowing me to finish the point. Why not? You were finished with the time How you came up How would you even know what I'm going to say? He's talking about I want to ask a single question. Have I, have I went away from John No, no, no. You have. How? You have. You're now going into etymology, right? What's wrong with that? If I'm doing John 1 1 with etymology, what's wrong with that? First of all, right? First of all, I want you to listen to me. This gentleman and this gentleman. Do you understand what my first conversation with them was? No, no, I don't, because I, I admit okay. I came late. Okay. However, okay. however, okay. you So now you're me, making a new argument. No, 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 no. It's the same argument. You asked me. Why is it the same? John, because you asked me what do I say about John 1 1. No, that's not what I asked you at all. What did you ask me? See, if you don't listen, no, I, I gave to you, you, I gave to you about John 1 1. So Am I wrong? Am listen, I wrong? John, what, what the gentleman the tried to use John 17. I said to him, stay with two verses. These are the two verses that we started with. The two verses in John 1-1. The, the reason why I brought John 7 You're not going to put this on YouTube, are you? Because this is the most meaningless conversation okay, I've ever had. If you feel this yeah. meaningless, then you good, good. stay the only reason with John 1-1 and John 1 Because 14. you know John 1-1 contradicts so many other verses. You if, know you, if you say so. Okay, this is just my opinion. Islamic opinion. Islamic opinion. Islamic opinion. Yeah, this is your Islamic opinion. If you're so We're staying with John 1-1 and John 1-14. If you're so hardcore on your evidence, then you would not... You wouldn't even John care. John 1 1 and John 1 14. Like two legs, you got two legs. John 1 1, John 1 14. Move me. Okay. Divinity and humanity. Okay. That's what we've been Good. talking about. Good. Exactly. Okay. Simple. Divinity, humanity. John 1 1, John 1 14. how we deal with this and yet you stick running all over the place. Where am I running? I've said John 1 1 and John. Where do you get running okay. all over what the place? It's like now he's grasping. Oh, now you're just grasping. John 1 1 equals divinity. Okay. Why? Divinity. Why? Because in the beginning was the word. Yeah. The word was with God and the word was God. No problem. This is divinity. Fine. John, John 1 14. We have humanity. humanity. Because we the word what? became flesh. Right. The word flesh. flesh. So you can take these two, divinity and yeah. humanity. They are coalesced into the person right. of Jesus Christ. Right. That means we have two natures in the one person. Right. Divinity and humanity right so now now let, me, now let me discuss let's discuss john 1 1 john 1 14 fair right so let's go back and I, i'm sorry to say I, I i don't think you should tell me how i should answer your question i should feel that i should be able to answer how i feel and if you and, and as long as i'm staying within the context listen as long as i'm staying within the context, the context as soon as you go into another no verse well, to be honest, it's your Bible, and I think you should welcome it. No, I don't. I don't welcome your Islamic interpretive and opinion. Why you using the word Islam? I'm not using any Islam. Because you're Muslim, am I right? But what's that got to do with me calling it's the verse It's got everything the Bible? to do with it. Everything. Okay, so John 17, how is that tied up to Islam? We're dealing with John 1 1 and no, John no, no, 1 14. I'm asking you, how does John 17 tie up to Islam? Does listen, it? listen. No, listen. but does it? I'm asking you. You're a Muslim. Right, you're a Muslim, and as a Muslim, you are unable to deal with John 1 1 and John 1 14. So, the first thing you do is go to different, but I'm simply saying, I don't get it. What's wrong with of course, you don't get it. You're a Muslim, no, no, you, that's what we say to you. That's, so, that's just, that's just so, I'm amazed. You're so, basically, I'm using verses from your scripture. Yeah, I can understand if I'm using something from the Quran, you can, then you can, you can say, Excuse me, I'm not a Muslim. What's the two verses I'm standing on? What's the two verses I'm standing on? He said, How are you listening? You're talking so much. You're not actually listening to the responses I'm giving to you. What's the two verses You're talking I'm about on? John 1 14 and John 1 1. Am I right or wrong? Right. So no, I'm trying to discuss. I'll, I'll so I'm trying trying to discuss the verses. And yeah. what you're doing is saying, actually, don't use any other verses in the Bible. I, but I, don't, say that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There should be anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Are you serious? Okay, Listen, you're actually okay, defending yeah, them. You know what? All you've done so far, all you've done is just fill a bus and argue okay, like right. nonsense. Okay, so maybe to Speak everyone. John 1 1 and John 1 14. Right, Go okay. On. And I have, but you're not using it. Right. You so, so basically, in the beginning was the word, right? So I asked you. Don't ask me. Does, Speak. I'm speaking. Yeah, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Right. So in the beginning was the word. So I'm asking you, does the word exist eternally with the Father? That's the first question I'm asking. Don't ask state questions, make statements. Don't ask, make statements. Make statements. Make statements. You know why I'm saying this? You know why I'm saying this? Do you know why I'm saying this? The reason why I'm saying don't ask questions and listen. The reason why I'm saying don't ask questions. Let's find out why we can't ask questions. The reason why I'm saying don't ask questions and make statements is simply this. Because I don't want him to use the answers I'm giving and then for him to start building up arguments based 
based upon what I'm saying. Exactly. I'm saying build up your own statements, make statements, make declarations, so then we can converse with on what you say. But don't ask regressive, loaded questions. Personally, make statements. personally, that doesn't make absolutely no sense. Of course, you're Muslim. You should never be afraid. You know what that shows? He's afraid to use the Bible as a pretext to his argument. Because he's so scared. He's so scared. He's so afraid. He's so afraid. He's so afraid. He's so afraid to use other verses. Because he knows. For him, for him this is Hollywood. This is speakers calling Hollywood. So he has to. You're so afraid. No, no, seriously. He can't. He can't quote another verse. No. Can't use that. And he can't ask you about one one. Listen. From the very beginning, oh, my friend, my friend, yeah. my friend. So basically, I can't use nothing. How long have you been here? I can't use nothing. How long have you been here? How long have you been here? Jesus. Now? Yeah. Half an hour. We've been talking for half an hour, right? No, no, less, less. Okay. In the whole time you've been here, have I used any other verses so far? Yeah, but you but need even to if you did, did you have a problem with Have I? You haven't, but what, why? Okay. Why, why, why not use another verse? From How many times have I read John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14 to you? Yeah. I said to you, this is not divinity for me. Okay, you said it's not divinity. Yeah. So then, I made okay. a statement. no worries. We said we didn't, we didn't accept. Okay. You, you should be either. able to question anything he's saying. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. How would I become a believer in Christ if we. I can't ask more questions? So here's what I'm saying. Just imagine saying to you, I'm yeah? interested in Christianity. Are you able yeah? to ask? Are you able to stand on questions on John 1 1 and John 1 40? Are you able to make statements regarding why you don't believe in divinity and humanity according to John 1 1 and John 1 40? No, all I you simply you. said is that you don't believe. Yeah, but yeah, give I me your. You why. Okay, tell me why you don't believe in because John 1 1. I asked you about the attributes of God. Okay. <laughs> the attributes of God, yeah. oh, creator, okay. can't be with the creation the same. You're telling me humanity and the flesh the same. He is doesn't make sense. Just two verses and just on everything else. Yes. That's my statement. What's your statement, sorry? I said the attribute of God, creator, and the creation can't be the same. Yeah? Your statement are is you humanity that, and flesh come together. Are you saying that there are things which are impossible to God? Say that again. Are you saying that there are things which are impossible to God? I didn't say that. Okay. So is it possible that God can become a man and have two natures? Do you believe that? Is it possible? Listen, I'm not saying yeah. why. I'm saying it's not is it possible? Okay, why is it not? Are you limiting God then? No, no, I'm not limiting because this is but not But then how can you say it's not possible? No. The Bible says, the, it's funny he's, he's talking, he's I'm asking this you, question, but he's not sticking to some other Attributes of God, creation, creator, can't be the same. He's not sticking to John 1-1, but he's talking about God being a man. If I John 1-1. One one. If I tell you God is not a liar, you're going to tell me, yeah, can he be a liar? No, I'm, I wouldn't ask you that. No, no, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. Whatever, whatever, no, whatever no, what you I tell you. you should ask him, can God, God be a liar? Yeah, can God be a liar? Who knows? So you Maybe your God, no, no, but no. definitely not no, my no, God. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. So he's limiting God. No, no, no. Did you hear that? Hold on. Let's just let this make it clear. I am limiting the God of Islam. I am not living. I am not limiting the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, 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 no. There is a massive distinction. No, 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 no. Because your God could not become a man. Am I right? So therefore, yeah. wait, wait, excuse wait. Me, me. Can yeah. Allah become a man? Me. Even though he has hands, listen, he has shins. Listen, 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 before we go to religion, right. let's agree on what attributes are God have. Attributes. Eternal. 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 No, more than that. Yes, eternal. Okay, you give me one. You I gave you one. Okay, I'll just give you one. Huh? You can't be created and creation the same thing. I can't, I can't make a chair and be a chair. Can so I? you're saying that, but you're using you to define how you see, and I'm saying to you, you cannot use yourself to define who God is. <laughs> you cannot use your humanity <laughs> and your way. You cannot, you cannot. The, no. the Bible says Stop. that God cannot be a man. Stop interjecting. <laughs> the Bible says that Stop God interjecting. In Malachi, you've been dealt with. In Malachi, no. chapter 3, I'm it says, I am the Lord, right? I do not change. Okay, okay. God, John 1, 1. Can, can